In this piece for the three note chords, I like to mute them with the left hand, the third finger or fourth finger, by flattening them off after you play them. Um, you could mute them just with the right hand. Let's take the, the first chord, nice and easy, the open third, second and first string. But you get this thing with the guitar where certain notes you play might trigger other strings to ring. And so in this case, um, the first and second strings are setting off these bass notes, the, the sixth and the fifth strings. So even when we mute them, we're playing them really loud, you get this a, a ton of extra vibration and extra sound that we can't stop with just the right hand fingers alone. Um, so you could you could flatten off the thumb a little and use the thumb to mute the strings. I I don't really like that that much. Um, I prefer with this piece just to use the left hand, and so we can do that. It's it's quite a, a hard technique to start off on because we're used to always um, holding down with pressure and holding down with our fingers kind of bent or what it should be, you know, arched. Whereas when we're muting the strings, we favour a flat kind of approach where the fingers are flat and they're not putting on any pressure. So it's probably worthwhile if you want to do this technique, practice playing the chord, IMA, of course, uh, with your right hand. And then just see how easy it is for you to use, say just your third and fourth finger or, or your second, third and fourth finger to lightly touch the strings to break that staccato. It's a lot of a cleaner sound. When we get to the A minor chord, which is in bar five and six, we are, we are using our second and first finger. I would say keep them on the frets and then use your third and fourth to mute. Again, you should isolate that and practice that on its own. Um, yeah, I think that's the most important thing in this piece. Obviously, work on those dynamic changes. Really, really emphasize them. They're a big part of this piece. Um, so we've got bar 9, etc. You know, really go for, for extremes. Um, and this last of all, bar 15, is another bar where you get the B in the chord, the two note chord, setting off the uh, sixth string. So, how was I fingering that? I think I was going uh, second finger and third. Now, this leaves only our fourth finger to mute the strings. So you can do that, um, or you can, I think there I use my thumb. So I played the bass note, and then use the thumb, which is sitting on the fifth string, but it's slightly angled back to touch the sixth string. So you can practice going, and then, then you kind of arch the, the thumb a little bit to, to touch with the back of it, with the, the nail or the back of the flesh, um, back of the thumb, you can mute the sixth string. I think it really helps add to the staccato sound. Thanks.